Welcome back to Erin Rowe Fit. Today I thought it would be fun to share my review on the different meal delivery services that I decided to try for the first time during this difficult time. First one, Hungry Root was recommended by a friend. It's plant-based and you will see that they ship the ingredients separately. Like so instead of your cart having the meal, it has the three or four ingredients, which means if I already have the pasta, in my pantry, I can remove that and just get the other ingredients. You can also add ingredients at the end. I added a photo for you, but kale pesto didn't come with the recipe. I just decided I wanted kale pesto. And I did this with the avocado cream, which is right here because my friend highly recommended it, so I got two. Unfortunately, the next week I got charged again for a cart that I didn't even pick. I emptied my cart, but apparently that doesn't count. You have to cancel, which it was a little difficult to do. So they did give me a $20 credit. The first recipe was a cashew cheddar mac and cheese I'll call it. It had broccolini, it had chickpea pasta, so it was kind of like a vegan version of mac and cheese. My father rated it an eight, my boyfriend a six, I rated it about a six as well. Next one was lemongrass tofu with a cabbage noodle and Thai peanut sauce. It was good. There it is. Not amazing. This was about $51, $52. I put they sent me the following week. Of course I used the Beyond Burgers and the tofu and the coconut curry sauce. Now purple carrot I was excited about. I chose three meals that serves six servings, so I chose all dinners. This was about $42, but I had a $30 off code for the first one, so $72 for the three meals slash six servings. They gave me the meals separately in their bags. The spinach was a little old, like it's watery, you can see there. I also let you know how much plastic waste each of these companies uses. You can just see the unnecessary plastic here. I wish they used maybe paper, something that breaks down quicker. The ingredients, I'm sorry, the recipes do come with purple carrot. I did not have to screenshot it like I did for Hungry Root. That spinach went right in the garbage. Luckily I had some because I always have so much lettuce. Here's the tofu, which I normally just cut up, so it was cool to practice cooking it and sauteing it, but the flavor wasn't there for me. It had no flavor. My boyfriend added hot peppers. This is the unnecessary leftover plastic. The second recipe here I really liked. Beet and coconut bacon flatbreads. It was vegan, so the bacon is not real. It is made with coconut with a smoke liquid. The ingredients for toppings were just delicious. Here is the herb cheese that we mixed in. I guess it's cashew cheese. And what else did we add? Chives or green onions? Green onions it was. And it was so good, multi-grain bread. I don't like gluten, but it is what it is. There's the extra plastic. The third meal here is a spring vegetable gnocchi. Now, I left it in the fridge too long, so I ended up throwing out the gnocchi because it turned a funny color, and that was my fault. I ended up just replacing it with chickpea pasta, and the vegetable combination that they had us make here was so good. You can easily cut up shallots and carrots again and add the seasonings and use that as a base for another dish in the future. That's my compost bucket. I'll link it below because I use it for all of my scraps. Whenever I bought shallots, they were little. These were like tubular shapes and oh my God, now I really like shallots. Asparagus nice and fresh. It was delicious. Here we have Home Chef. This one I would order again. This one didn't have as many food options. I just ordered two chickens. I got apricot mustard glazed chicken, and it had Parmesan fingerling potatoes, amazing, and then hazelnut butter chicken breast with garlic mashed potatoes and honey rosemary carrots. Both of these were good. Both of these made decent amounts. I got four meals out of it, two per chicken. My family thought it was excellent. The chicken was not dry. And this one ran me, let's see, $55. Number one choice from all of these so far. 
Now this is only your delivery of vegetables, your organic produce, some fruits mixed in. You have a few choices. I chose a medium box of organic and I got about 10 different items. I roasted some, I juiced a bunch. And this is the only subscription that I kept from multiple boxes. Well, this and the next one. For $60, you get free shipping. So I ended up paying just the $6 delivery fee because I only needed like $30 worth of vegetables for the week. And it's still worth it. You save money from if you went to the store. I did some mental calculations and the thing about this is you get to choose what goes in your box. They do fill it for you, but you can add and remove before it gets shipped. So I love that. You can break it down to organic, you can break it down to fruit, fresh orange juice, and make a lot of immune boosting juices with the extra celery. And I've got an overload of potatoes between all these boxes, but I just made a big roasted combination and put them to use. Each of those bowls had a different juicing ingredients and I froze those, frosted one each night so the morning I would drink it. Here's all the different veggies so I can scoop them out. There are two different ways to meal prep. I prefer just scooping and adding variety each day. The third box I also use to juice and it's the best way to get a lot of vegetable servings at a time. Here's my Misfits box. Not my favorite because the freshness, this freshness was good. My friend had an issue with some rotted onions and she even had quick shipping. So I guess it's hit or miss. I do like both Misfits and Imperfect Foods, but I kind of prefer Imperfect Foods. The next box I enjoyed because I added some different things like fun mushrooms that I never had and onions. I roasted a lot of different veggies here. And here's just a quick picture of my breakfast. I had the special mushrooms with shallots. I had the special peppers with onions. I hope you saw a box that you are interested in trying out. Your first box usually comes with a discount if you use the links that I provided below. I do get a little bit of credit for myself, but I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching.